It's courtesy of Hypebeast and it features Shane Gonzalez um, collaboration with Vans Vault. If you know Shane Gonzalez, he is the founder of the brand called Midnight Studios and he has a very specific um, kind of aesthetic that kind of reminds me of, you know, old school undercover, um, maybe a little bit of, you know, um, Hedy Slimane at Saint Laurent and just that kind of whole grungy aesthetic sort of vibe that he kind of rocks with and i'm interesting in the first place because these aren't a midnight studios and vans collaboration there are shane gonzalez and vans collaboration which is interesting i wonder why he decided to do that maybe he didn't want to cheapen the brand by doing it vans maybe he wants to produce his own sort of footwear maybe he's kind of pushing to be his own sort of like creative voice that stands alone from midnight studios i'm not really sure but the fact that it's not a midnight studios and vans thing is very interesting but i feel like there's a real big chasm of hit and misses on the shoes i feel like there are some pairs here that are really well done and there's some pairs here that are hideous so the two the one that is definitely hideous that stands out to kind of mention is the skate high the skate high has got this belt that goes across on them with zips on along the side of the flipping laces you have to decide one closure either you have laces or you have zips but you can't have three you kind of have belt laces and a zip that's absolutely chaotic absolutely disgusting and if anything it reminds me of the kind of it reminds you of like a grunge version of a balenci no yeah a grunge version of a balenciaga arena do you remember that shoe it was a shoe that was very popular in the early 2000s a balenciaga arena sneaker uh, i think kanye used to wear them a lot as well back in the day and they basically had the same sort of layout with like the laces and the zips on the side here they can kind of unzip your shoe easily if you wanted to so those look hideous the the kind of skate um what they what they called so you got the van skate high and then you got the um old schools or skate high i forgot what that model is particularly this one here at the top but this black one pretty decent i'm not too mad at this i like what he's done with the vans logo strap on the side here this kind of embroidered kind of tattoo type design looks really really cool um i'm not too fond of this kind of embroidery thing on the toe box at the front i think this looks a little bit weird i'm not really too fond on this i think maybe so should have stuck with this on the front of the side but i'm not mad at it the thing that i like about it most is the leather quality clearly looks really nice um very very high quality subtle supple sorry soft soft leather these kind of hooks and loops on the inside of the shoe look really weird i don't know what these are there for because for the most part this type of low profile shoe you don't really need assistance to kind of rip your foot into it but maybe it's just not something else the metal eyelets on the you know the ring eyelets here i'm not really too fond of either but and this and of course the slip on is probably the standout i think in terms of an interesting way of kind of flipping a slip on by having this kind of weird zip pocket thing on the top of the shoe um which kind of makes it like a slip on also makes it like a like an edit of a authentic or something it's kind of like maybe he's concealing some laces underneath it so you've got this two effects you've got in a way to kind of have this clever sort of like you know um clean design where you don't see any of the um lacing systems underneath and you've got an option where you can kind of look, take off the zip and kind of have it exposed and obviously you've got a little clip here it looks like something you'd have on your chino so decent enough but there's a too many hits and misses there but that skate high with the belt is looking horrendous um one thing i have to give him credit for which i'm liking as a trend is seeing pictures of shoes in lookbooks where a person has clearly worn them. I think that kind of gives a shoe a bit of life and a bit of texture, a bit of warmth. Um, it just kind of makes it look like it's been lived in and kind of give you an idea of what they'll look like when you live in yourself. Um, it's that those really sterile product shots of the shoe, fresh out the box without anybody's foot in it. It kind of looks a certain way. Then you put your foot in it, it kind of changes the way it looks a little bit in context. So I think you know these work really well not the ones where someone's like sitting in a jumping up with their toes in a pool of water, not those corny sneakerhead ones just a picture of somebody actually wearing them i think supreme have been doing quite a bit now with their band's collaborations where they'll feature pictures of clearly guys in the skate team or people associated with the brand who've worn them a few times the shoes before they've been released and then take pictures of them and just put those out as like you know hey this is what i've done and it gives you a good idea of what the shoes look like on foot and after a few wear so i do like this and you see that of course so this band's here um you see it again featured on this one also the slip on with somebody sketching and drawing all over them which i think again is a bit of a nod to virgil bringing that back into popularity to rip him and of course no one worn the skate highs they definitely look brand new no one's gonna be wearing these even for free these look absolutely horrendous 
like ridiculous. That might be one of the worst pair of bands I've ever seen in my entire life. That's definitely one of those type of shoes. But yeah, those are pretty nice. Whatever these are, and the slip ons are probably the best ones. But those skate highs are shockingly, shockingly bad. Um, really one of the worst things I've ever ever seen. But again, this goes to show that Shane Gonzalez is definitely growing and getting up there in terms of creativity because these brands, you know, they don't reach out to nobody. So this courtesy of um hype beast it says adding to his lengthy um lineup of collaborations Shane Gonzalez has now shared his first collaboration with Vans um titled the Star Spangled Glamour the collection is comprised of three Vault by Vans silhouettes that's probably why the collection the quote is really good by the way because Vault by Vans is usually the um the kind of premium end version of their collaborations that they do um and the quality of the shoes that's probably why the leather looks so great from afar as is a suede so the three silhouettes are the old school which I definitely do like the look of VLT LX and the authentic zip okay so it's not a slip on it's an authentic that's interesting i love it's a very clever idea they've taken an authentic and added a kind of flap over the top with a zip that makes it look like a slip on that's a pretty clever little twist i like that um and then the skate high reissue strap which is horrible um gonzalez applied these rock and roll fuse um spin on the shoes focusing on all american motif drawn from the signature aesthetic sensibilities of cowboy boots denim jeans and leather jackets um leading the shane gonzalez and vault by Van Star Spangled Collection is the old school VLT LX dressed in premium black leather and marked with a bold Western embroidery commonly found on the cowboy boots. Um, and, oh, okay, that's what they've done with that shoe. Okay, so that's a cowboy boot thing. Huh. Yeah, I don't like that. This, this actually, oddly enough, this design of the on the old school probably would have fit better on the skate high. And then you could probably have this design on the old on the old school and it might have really fit better, better. Like if you swap the the kind of, you know, the design of the skate high to the old school and the old school to the skate high, I think it would have fit a lot more better. But hey, we are where we are. Um while the authentic zip is designed to replicate the looks of jeans, classic jeans, um, with a familiar indigo thing. Finally, the skate high reissue also constructed with a black and outfit with a rider jacket. Okay, so it's meant to be like a leather jacket type style. So you got so you, so what have you got here? You've got jeans, you've got cowboy boots, and you've got leather jacket. Okay, so it's basically like a full outfit. Interesting. Interesting. Um it continues. Price between 130 and 185. The Shingles Island Vault by Vans collection will be released on April 7th. So yeah, check them out if you're that way inclined. Um for me, the only big wins are the authentic and the sorry, the old school and the authentic. That skate high can just get thrown in the bin straight away. It looks absolutely horrendous in my opinion. But hey, maybe I'm just hating. Maybe I'm just hating.